Greetings everybody, this is Etho, and some of you might recognize this place. This is Badge's village, where he keeps his villagers. It's a pretty cool place. This is also where I gather my sand. I did most of that. I also did this. Uh, yeah, he said I can get my sand from here. I feel bad though, like that I'm wrecking the view or anything. I asked if he wants me to go further out or anything, and nope. Over here is okay, apparently. So, this is where I get my sand from. You actually can't see much of the damage from the village. It's surprising. And I set up some TNT stuff here. So we'll do those off first. It's my preferred way of getting sand, although... We did get that new shovel last time, and I'm going to try that out. Watch, I have tried it out, and it's amazing. Uh -oh. Yeah, so I came over here with a bunch of TNT, thinking the shovel's not going to work. Because in my LP, in single player mode, I tried out an efficiency 4 shovel on sand, and it was garbage. It's, uh, it was not quick at all, right? Then I come on here, it's like, okay, I guess this shovel's not going to do much, so I brought some TNT to use instead, laid the charges, and as I was digging sand to put the charges in, it's like, what the heck? <laughs> Does not do that in single player, so I guess it's just coded differently, because you can't do this in single player. Same with on dirt or soil, it doesn't chew it away like that, so, oh well, I guess I'll... I might mix it. I might do some some TNT, some shoveling. But anyway, I'll collect some sand. I'll make some glass. We'll finish up the slime farm today. That is the goal, and I do strongly intend to complete it so that we can finish up the blaze farm and start new projects. Oh yeah, and I had another idea here. You know how I said I wanted to start a cow farm? Uh, usually that involves, like, fencing off an area for them. Then they glitch through when you unload and reload the chunks sometimes, and it's just an issue if you don't set it up right. Uh, but I kind of realized I can just bring them over to this little island here, and they will stay here, most likely. We're going to test the theory. Uh... Because with their pathfinding now, they don't seem to ever choose to walk into water, you know? I think they can cross water if they see land on the other side. Like, if they were to see this, I think they may cross the water. I'm not sure. Uh, but they won't just intentionally wander out into the ocean. If they get pushed into the ocean, I think they'll come back to the land automatically, because that's the only place their pathfinding will tell them to go. So, should be able to fill up this little island here with a lot of cows and they won't ever leave. Pretty sure. Alright, so we are ready to begin working on the slime farm. Uh, I've actually started and you can see I got some glass down. These guys keep killing me though and messing up my recording. So, this is my third attempt at this. Hopefully... I can... Nope. <laughs> Dang it, guys! Come on! Uh, it's not that uh, I'm embarrassed to show myself dying. That does suck. But uh, they, they keep messing up my train of thought when I'm talking, and I have to start over. Uh, but since I haven't started yet, I'll just go grab the stuff, hopefully. But yeah, th this slime tower, I'm really excited to see it up and running, because the rates I'm getting are incredible. Oh, man. These guys, though. Okay, I have to reconnect. Yeah, these guys just keep killing me. It's driving me crazy. Uh, missing my shovel and a, the bow. I really need that bow back. Where is it? Because... There's my stuff. Sweet. Uh, yeah, I've been trying to explain how slime spawning works, and every time I 
in the middle of it, they kill me. Where's my shovel? Dang, guys. They're so bad because a lot of the times they're invisible. And other times you can't hit them. So, seriously, where's my shovel? Give it back. I don't know where my shovel went. Uh, this is the, one of the few times I would actually really like a regen potion. Dang, that's a good shovel. Why can't I find it? Okay, I'll look for it. And then I'll be back. Whew, got it back. That was close. Uh, it was there, it's just invisible. And reconnecting didn't make it appear. Which is pretty annoying. It took about four minutes before it finally showed up. Uh, anyway, uh, what we're going to do here first, we'll go layer by layer, kill kill all the slimes, hopefully. And I got glass. We're going to put glass in these corner things like this. I've done this on a few already. So uh, this little hole is for lava to come through. It's, we're going to have a lava blade, and it'll be held up by a sign here and here. And when the slimes jump, uh, they'll hit the lava, they'll burn, they'll split, they'll jump, they'll split until they get to the very smallest size, and then they'll be able to fit down these holes in the corner and they'll fall down. That's the plan. Uh, the little guys won't be able to jump into the lava though, so that's that'll keep them safe. But yeah, a lot of people have been asking me about slime spawning and how that works and it, I know it's something I've covered in the past before but every time not every time it's changed how did he <laughs> where did he come from it's changed recently uh, before they only spawned below y16 uh, height wise and their rates were a little bit different than they are now too now they spawn below level 40. Oop, getting a little lag, I think. No, this can't place blocks. Uh, and they only spawn in certain chunks, slime chunks as we call them. Oops, did that layer. No, oh, I'm not gonna live, am I? Yeah, I actually killed him. So slime chunks, a chunk is a 16 by 16 area. Uh, so from 0, 0 in the world, every 16 by every 16 blocks is a new chunk type thing. Uh, slime chunks are only about roughly 10%. Well, exactly 10%, I'm pretty sure, of all, all the chunks. And uh, that is figured out using your seed, your, your world seed. In SMP, though, you don't have a world seed. You do, but you can't see it. I think that was a, that was a recent change. I, so that, I'm pretty sure it was so that people can't just take the seed, go into single player, generate the exact same world, and see where everything is. That's, that's a bit annoying when people do that on servers. So... You won't be able to get it in SMP, but in single player, you can take your seed and either figure it out on paper or with a calculator yourself using an algorithm. Uh, it's all it's all mathematically figured out based on your seed and figure it out that way. Or go to Google, type in Minecraft Slime Finder, and the first thing you find. Uh, it should be a little web application. Just give it your seed, tell it where to look, and it'll tell you which chunks are slime chunks and which ones are not. In SMP, though, you can't do that. Um, you have to do the old-fashioned way of if you see a slime there, uh, it's probably a slime chunk type thing. I found it on this server by... There was this little area that large slimes kept getting stuck in. A very, very confined area. And I knew 
it was a slime chunk because when I did the a coordinate check that little area did not overlap more than one chunk so I knew it was that specific chunk that they were spawning in um, but yeah you basically you just gotta keep an eye on the chunk if they spawn there it's a good chance it's a spawn a slime chunk if they keep spawning there often um, now as far as actual slime spawning works they doesn't matter what light level it is, they spawn in all light conditions. Uh, other other rules apply that apply to the, the normal hostile mobs, like they don't spawn on half slabs, they don't spawn in water type thing. Uh, their rate of spawning is... I better eat something. Last I heard, it's a 1, 10, 10, 10, 10, 1 rate which means slimes that have a ratio of 1 to skeleton spawning at 10, creepers 10, uh, spiders 10, zombies 10, and then endermen 1. So it's like a 1 in 42 chance when a mob is being attempted, when the game tries to place a mob, there's a 1 in 42 chance it's going to be a slime. And then on top of that, where are you? Uh, oop. The slime won't get placed if. Uh, how should I say this? The slime has to be able to be placed to actually get spawned in the world, and most of the time that doesn't happen with slimes because they only spawn in 10% of the chunks, and in those 10% chunks they can only spawn below level 40, so that's another restriction, and then. Slimes have an equal chance of being small, medium, or large, so 33% chance of being a tiny one, 33 of being a medium, 33 of being a large. If they're a small one, they need um, space like this, so just a 1 by 2 height area. If it's a medium or a large one, though, they need a full 3 blocks where they can't have um, something blocking them, otherwise the this, this spawning cancels out type thing. So most of the time, slimes do not get placed when being when attempting, and they very rarely get attempted due to the 1 in 42 thing. So I think I rambled on about that enough. Let's get back to this. I'll make sure I got all the, all the glass, and we will continue with the talking about the actual design of this thing. Yeah, so I went through every layer now, and every layer has the glass, and every layer also has these signs uh, below the hole I left. And uh, what we gotta do next is put our lava blades in place. So, uh, lava should travel four blocks, one above where the sign is, that's where we want it to end. Then one more over there, that's two. And then three, four. Is how we'll try to do it. So we'll see how this looks. Of course we gotta put sides on it as well. Um, I should grab some filler blocks or something, but... <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Composure. <clears throat> okay, so. Uh, that's too funny. Okay, so I got some lava ready. And... It'll go like this. I know there was a glitch before where lava would sometimes travel five blocks. I hope that's not going to be an issue. Looks like it stopped. Uh, and then we'll probably put glass above just so there's n definitely no problems. I was hoping uh, I was going to be able to put it at the corner here and it would make it. But I guess it doesn't travel that far.
Uh, with this farm, I haven't really planned it out. Well, I planned it out fully, but I have no idea how it's going to turn out. Uh, so this is all very exciting. And uh, I've got to do that with all of these. So that might take a little while. I'll do that off camera. Got to get some filler blocks. Do one more and see how it looks with the two. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of lava pools nearby though, so it shouldn't be tough collecting them. And now that I have no good way of getting in, well maybe I can enter pearl in. Let's go over here. Just see what it looks like. Alright, so that's that's the effect we're going for. Uh, we can't have it above the hole here because this is where they need to drop down and we don't want them dropping through lava. Um, and basically the way the slimes work, they don't have the fancy mob AI like the other mobs. They, When they spawn, they randomly pick a direction that they're going to travel, and then they go that way. And when they hit the wall, they keep going that way. And um, what happens, like even if you hit the wall at this angle here, what eventually happens, if you keep jumping towards it, you'll slowly keep going to the right until you end up in the corner so uh, no matter which angle they pick they're going to end up in one of these corners after enough time and uh, uh, if they if they target you obviously they charge directly towards you uh, but also different than other mobs slimes will jump off cliffs they don't they don't care they don't care about fall damage so they will freely jump down here on their own no problem and that's the deal with this so I'll put the lava blades in and I will see you afterwards and it looks like we have a chance to see this in action let's uh, see what this guy does I can't see Oh, please make it, yes. Looks... Okay, if the small slimes fell down... Yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh. So far, nothing's burnt down, so that's, that's a good sign. Alright, well, I got all the lava in place now in all the corners. That took a little while to do, but looks pretty crazy. I like it. Unfortunately, spoke too soon, we did have fires. Uh, I don't know the exact cause of it yet. Uh, I do know signs can spread fire, so like fire can spread to this block because of that um, even still that shouldn't be able to reach the leaves so I knew lava had a little bit different uh, fire spread rules than than regular fire but it just it just must uh, spread out wider than I thought it did so we'll probably put glass here and just be on the safe side because sand is a lot easier to collect than I originally thought so it's not a big deal getting glass and it's not quite working properly now because the walls are missing but when I get those back in it should be all good and you can see the slime balls are falling or the slimes are falling down in these corners uh, when it does work but what we're going to do is we're going to have a a water block up here or something for them to fall in that will reset their fall damage so, so that they don't die. I just saw one fall. Uh, then we'll carry them off in water streams to some ladders and the ladders will bring them up to the surface type thing. 
that's what I'm planning. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but I'll I'll replace all the leaves with glass, and that'll take a little while, and I'll be back. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to put the glass like this, uh, favoring the right side. Because I'm a clockwise type of guy. And Paws paid me a visit here. He's just testing out his his fraps. He's got a new computer and it's giving him trouble getting it set up. Uh, so we'll leave this spot like this because uh, we're going to put we'll just put a frame around it for looks and we want a piston right here like that and I hear fire That no, that's not gonna messed it up. Uh, how's it go? Maybe what we'll do do the frame like this. That looks a little better. And then this this piston will come up. Oh, I don't have any cobble on me. I guess we'll use a pressure plate to show it. Come up like this. That's how it'll be most of the time. Then. I feel like I messed up here. I think the piston has to go higher, actually. Yeah, it definitely has to go higher. Okay. Uh, piston must have to go here. Like that, yeah. And what that'll do, when it's up like that, there's going to be water behind it. That'll hold its hold it back and then when it's down it will pour land right here and that will make it spread out eight blocks so one one two three four five six seven eight up to here which is the very center of the room this this is the very center right here so we do that for all four and we can cover this whole floor with just four water sources and it should be pretty good slimes I hope won't be able to fit through the gap with the piston arm I'm not sure uh, even if they do it shouldn't affect things too much but that's the plan right pause look at him go okay uh, I'll, I'll work on this some more and I'll see you in a little bit. Well, Paz had an accident. We're gonna get his stuff for him. This is the way I like to do it. I'll make a chest for my stuff and a chest for his stuff. And then just steal his XP and put his items away. Okay, so I got that all done. It looks pretty good. I liked it with the glass as well. It looks looks good. Um, but I'm going to have to change something here. I don't... As I was building this, I was thinking about these pistons, and they're going to be a problem if I do it like this. Uh, the slimes will get stuck in the piston arms for sure, the baby ones. And we don't want that happening, because they're going to be jumping against the wall, and if it's not flush, they'll get stuck in the little indent that the arm creates and even if I use like a sticky piston like if I lower this one block and put a full block there uh, it's still not going to work because when the arm is extended it's at that level there which will they can hop into so we have to do something a bit more fancy um, we'll just create a little example of it here so uh, this is our water port, right? Has to be at least one block off the ground so that we can make the water spread eight, eight blocks. Otherwise, it won't be enough. And Ooh, burps, excuse me. Okay, 
we're going to use one sticky piston and one regular one. Uh, we'll put the sticky one at the back there and the regular one over there. So that when it's extended, it will look pretty good still. That's what the wall will look like. Nice and flush. Uh, we can see the water ports right there. Uh, but what we're doing is we're kind of making a double extender here. Uh, what we can do... Block there, block there. And uh, the plan is to power the pistons with redstone torches going straight up. All of them. And that's what's like extended. If we put a repeater in here, and let's make a button to try this out. No, we don't want a button. We want a lever because it's it's going to have two states on off. Uh, when the water's flowing out, the slimes won't spawn. That's the whole point of this. Okay, so that's too quick. Probably has to be at three. Yeah. So now it retracts the regular piston. And that leaves a one block gap. We can put water above there and it'll pour down. So that's that's what we gotta do. And we'll do that all the way up. Should work out pretty good. It's a lot, a lot better solution than the, the other way we're doing it, but it's going to be a bit more of a pain to set it up. Well, I've been working at switching this out, and it's going pretty good. I got a good pattern going on now. I got one side all done. I'm just starting a second one, and I'll just show you, show you what I've been doing here, give you an idea of what's behind the construction. Um, first thing I do is I just put the blocks over the torches. Get those going. And then I hop in here, put down some glass, a sticky piston at the back, regular one there. Fix that. Go here. Um, decide to put the water on the side instead of above and if the water was here it would wash away the torch that's that's the reason there's no I don't think there's any way of putting it above without it either having to move this block or having the torch wash away um, and fill this in get our water buckets I've been doing four at a time Coverts. And there we go. That's another one done. Got five, 21 left to go. <laughs> so, made a bit of a mistake here. I realized it when you got it all done. So, unfortunately, I have to change everything. But I made the assumption that two of these blocks will be powered and two will be unpowered so should work right well thing is I forgot that pistons are gonna get powered diagonally from from this vertical thing of torches so three blocks are actually gonna power it and one is not and the way that works if we have the piston either here here or here it will get power from that torch because uh, that blocks being powered right next to the torch will power it and also the redstone torch will power the piston diagonally so that's three blocks the only place it won't power it is at this level here which will not work because wait yeah I would have to move all these torches down one block or this pattern down one block and that doesn't work because that's the level the water's at so it'll just wash the torch out so I'll have to move those torches a 
a little bit away from the pistons or something and redo it. But that's all we're doing for today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll do I'll finish this up some other time. We're gonna continue working on the blaze farm next time anyway, even though I did not quite do all I wanted with this. It is functioning though. We got slime balls. I just there's a few extra little things I wanna do which I'll probably do off camera or something or later who knows uh, that, that's kind of a downer though uh, but anyway one thing I'll show you before we end it I'll go show you the cow farm as I've been building I've been feeding them and they've been multiplying and I want to get a looting three swords so I'll work at getting one of those two I'll enchant a bunch of swords until I get one and hopefully get fire aspect on it too that would be great and sharpness if you can get the three together that is the best cow killing sword you can get one shot to cook them and get extra drops that's that's the way to go um okay let's get our pearls yeah in a really short time though i managed to get a whole island full of cows you can see there's a few cows out, but they tend to come back when they go out. Usually, usually. Um, it's also because I was running around here with wheat, which will make them walk in the water, and when that happens, then they they might not swim back right away. But yeah, that's, we're going to be good on food. That's for sure. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. See you again another time.